Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we're back on John's project. It is a 5.2 Magnum liter V8. Actually, that's what it started at. Right now it's 323 cubic inches. This is gonna go in a 1994 Jeep. He wanted a good, reliable, solid engine with really good internals. Um, as you saw in previous videos, it's got an Eagle Forged crank, Eagle Forged rods, and Icon Forged pistons. We put a Mellings pump in it, and that's about as far as we've got now. So what are we gonna do tonight? Well, tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stab a camshaft in here, get the timing gears all set up, and get that ready to rock and roll, and we're gonna put the oil pan on it. Speaking of that, John and I will be making a video on an oil pan. It has to do with the state of we are right now with getting parts and getting quality parts. Yep. So one thing that we're gonna go first off is say what kind of parts we're gonna use. Um, we are gonna use a Howard's Roller hydraulic camshaft. I use these in pretty much every engines that we build. Um, we have an Avon Pro Gear timing gear set, and we got a Cloy's retainer. Um, this all came with a kit from CNC Motorsports. It's quality, it's good, really enjoy their products. Um, so from there, guys, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stab this cam in, get everything set up, go from there. What do you think, John? Um, I'm you know, excited to keep chugging along on this. The rotating assembly went together very well so far, so we we'll get the camshaft in, get the timing in, get the cover on, oil pan and stuff, and keep rolling. Yep, so that'll button up the short block on that. Magnum CI is getting much closer to being completed. With that, guys, I'm rambling. John's wanting to get to work. We're going to get this started. Later. Let's get to it. All right, so we got the cam installed, um, and we got the Avon timing gear set set up and got all that in there. Everything is right. We're going dot to dot. At one point, John and I will degree this cam. I have a nice Clay Smith cam degree wheel. Pretty slick the way it works. Uh, we were gonna use the retainer, um, but we started test fitting pieces. Um, you saw stuff coming off. That's because we're making sure everything actually fits right before we do a final install. So we put the stock stuff on, we lined up, um, the aftermarket retainer, um, <clears throat> long story short, it's not going to actually work with this setup here. Um, we could probably get it there, but John and I feel more comfortable running the stock stuff. Um, if it works from the factory, pretty good, pretty heavy duty. It's going to work with this. It's a roller cam. It's, you know, almost stock displacement. So we're going to roll with the factory stuff. As you saw, you got everything torqued down. Um, that last step there, what we did is I'm using driven assembly lube. Um, in that in that can it's meant for everything even camshafts you name it but they make a high viscosity lubrication this stuff's pretty good it's extremely extremely tacky so what i did was i went ahead on the actual timing chain itself got that on there rotated it got it all nice and sticky you want everything lubricated really well as you saw we did that with the camshaft got all that done so yeah we're going to move on to the next step but we're going to take a quick break uh, mind you, when you do this, you have to make sure you're at top dead center. We use the deck bridge to do that. Um, I go back and forth to make sure it's exactly top dead center on the rock and put it dot to dot. With that, guys, we'll see you here in a few minutes.
Well, we're gonna call that a wrap. As you saw, John and I got that Howard's camshaft stabbed in there. We use Driven uh, motor oil products for assembly lube. It's great stuff. Um, I threw the pictures in there of what it is. It's got a real high, his, high viscosity lubricant, real tacky, awesome stuff. From there, we went ahead and installed the Avon timing gear set. We had plans to do um, the retainer, but it just wasn't gonna work for this application. But John and I have plans down the road to build another 318. Uh, Magnum CI is getting better than stock components, so it's all going to be good. From there, we went ahead and installed the oil pan, got all that buttoned up. We went ahead and put the water pump on, got a little bit of cleanup work to do. But overall, we have a short block done, and it's looking mighty fine. Um, John test fit the intake manifold on this. It's awesome. Uh, some of the next steps we got coming up on this. Um, we are going to clay the cylinder heads to see how close everything is with the valves uh, to the pistons. Uh, we got to get some parts in first for that though. We're going to end up degreeing the cam. We're going to do over, we're going to do this engine right, check everything, make sure it's good. Because when John hits the road in his Jeep, we don't want anything to happen to this. But yeah, it's been a very productive night. Really awesome. It's coming together. John, what do you think? Uh, I think we got a lot more done than I initially anticipated, and things went really well. So I am very pleased with the fact that we got the cam and the timing cover on, the water pump on, and the oil pan uh, that actually fits. Yes. So John and I, funny story, <laughs> the oil pan he purchased for this was a stock replacement, and it didn't fit. At some point, we're going to make a video on that yeah. and kind of show you that. Uh, but for now, it's really cold outside. I got my vehicle warming up. John's got some friends over, but we got a lot done in a short yeah. amount of time. Another successful night. Project Magnum CI is coming together. And you know what, guys? This thing's going to be awesome. See you in the next one.